Okay, welcome back everyone to another Corel Video Studio 2019 tutorial. And let's get into it. Today we are talking about time lapse. Okay, as you can see, I have the home screen up and it's ready to go. Now let's click on edit to pull up our editing window. And the first thing I'm going to do, I am going to click add. I want to add a new folder and I'm just going to call this time lapse. Okay. So for the time lapse images, I do not need this folder, but I like creating this folder anyway. I will need that for the video time lapse option. Okay, you see this video timeline here? Follow my cursor, you will see. Now just right click on that and click insert photo for time lapse. Click on that on the menu that pops up. Now, I already have a folder set up for all my time lapse images. As you can see, now the first one we are going to go into is a time lapse that I created in 2016 with my Canon Rebel T2i. Okay, this is a nighttime time lapse astrophotography, a very difficult time lapse to perform, very difficult to get cl good clean in focus images, but I was able to do it on this one. So, as you can see, I have a lot of images in this, and this is just the JPEG, JPEG images. I have not done any post-processing to these images. This is just straight out of the camera, JPEGs. Okay, so, I want to click on the first one, and on my keyboard, I want to click Control A, that will select them all. Okay. As you can see, all these images are selected. I want to click open. Okay, on this box, this control panel that pops up, I don't do anything with it. I just leave it set as is. And you can see the total duration will be 13 seconds. Okay, I'm satisfied with that. I am going to click OK. Now all those images just loaded up into my timeline. Now if I play it here on my preview window, it's going to look choppy and mechanical. So I don't want that. I want it to be buttery smooth. So I'm going to click share. And of course I always render in MPEG-4. MPEG-4, AVC, 1920 by 1080p, 15 megabits per second. Okay. Now, I want that, I already have a folder set up in here called finished folder, and I'm going to have that time lapse go into that folder. I want to label it, say night lapse. Okay, now let's start the render. Okay, moving along quite nicely, almost done, and done. It has been rendered successfully. So, now to view the final, I have my folder popped up. I'm going to click on the finish folder, and here is the final video of that time lapse. Now again, like I said, I performed this time lapse in 2016, I believe it was in September. This is out on my front porch and I use my Canon Rebel T2i, the standard kit lens. I believe the shutter was left open for 30, sec 30 seconds per image. Unless you have done this, I don't think you can quite appreciate how difficult it is to get this, to get this image, to get this time lapse in. It was a bear to perform. Now all those flashes and streaks you see running across the, the night sky, those are just planes, aircraft, 
going from airport to airport. I have a lot of airports and international airports in my region, so it's a major thoroughfare in the night sky. You see a lot of airplanes. Every time I tried to take astral photography, I always end up with a lot of planes in the image. They just look like streaks. But anyway, that is an astrophotography time lapse rendered in Corel Video Studio. Okay, enough of bragging about that. Go ahead, close window, minimize that. I'm going to go back into edit and let's do another image time lapse. Let's click new project. Don't save that. Okay, you see that video thumbnail did automatically save there just in case I want to use that in a bigger video. I think Corel just automatically loads that. So let's go back down here and do the video timeline. As you can see, my cursor, right click on your mouse, insert photo for time lapse. And let's go into here. Again, this these images were taking, taken with my Canon Rebel T2i in 2016. This is of the Louisville, Kentucky Walking Bridge. Again, I am going to just click Control A to select all those files, JPEGs, simple JPEGs, nothing fancy. I'm just going to click OK on that and it's loaded. This is a walking bridge stretching from Jeffersonville, Indiana to Louisville, Kentucky. We really enjoy this. I believe we have a video, a vlog of us there in maybe 2018 or somewhere around there shortly after JC started her channel. So let's go ahead and render that. We're just going to put bridge Okay, I am going to render that. And it is rendering quite quickly, quite nicely. Okay, now let's view that. This is just of people walking on the bridge kind of funny to watch it. It looks like they're just skating across. No post-processing done on this. And a lot of that shaking you see are just from people's footsteps. It does move a big steel bridge like that quite a bit. Taking time lapse in the daytime is much easier. The camera is facing north, the sun is at the west, this is the evening time. And it is almost golden hour at this point. It was just perfect lighting, perfect everything. Okay, so that's that. Okay, so now you have seen how to load images into a timeline to create a time lapse. So let's go in and just see how to make a time lapse out of a video. Now, the way I do it is probably not the best way. Let's go ahead and create a new project to clear that timeline. And I want to load that video into here. Okay, I have my video that I want to load into the timeline here. I'm just gonna click, drag it down. No, I don't wanna change anything of this. Okay, this is in Indianapolis in 2016. This is shot using my Canon camcorder. It's a Canon Vixia. Okay, so in order to create a timeline, I want, or a time lapse, I want to double click on that, click speed time lapse, and let's just change the speed here to 1000. 
that's the maximum and this is how I create a video time lapse and just click OK now let's go ahead and just render that nothing's changed here you've already seen it I'm just going to type in vid just to make it easy and let's start it okay while that's rendering let's go ahead and talk about the problems with doing video time lapse this way it'll start looking mechanical if you speed the video up too fast it just when you shoot in 30 frames a second there's just not enough there it's the same problem as doing slow motion it'll just start looking jerky and just mechanical it won't look right okay so most modern cameras have a video time lapse feature built into them if you are intending to shoot a scene in time lapse you don't really want to do that in Corel Video Studio in the video mode you don't want to turn a video into a time lapse in Corel Video Studio because all you're doing is just playing it in fast forward at least the way I know how to do it okay now you want to use the in camera video time lapse option that is much better now if you're doing stills like you've seen the first two renders of the of the nighttime the astrophotography and the bridge it's fine it, it loads just fine it looks great it's more important on how you set up the camera okay in that instance but if you want to do just take a video and play it as a time lapse use your cameras functionality for that okay let's look at that okay you see they look kind of mechanical but it's still decent I mean if you just want to show this you know a couple seconds of this in a video a larger video it would work perfectly fine you put music into it you let it run for a second or two and just flash other things along with that it'll be fine right it's just a quick and easy way of doing it but it's just not going to be as buttery smooth as if you used your camera function your cam your camera video time lapse okay enough of that people always stopping in front of the camera no matter what you do I always have their butt and back to your camera okay so that's pretty much all I have for you um, like I said there's really not much to it they're loading up an image and creating a time lapse out of that fairly easy now I shoot in 30 frames a second I shoot my time lapse as a 30 frames a second you don't have to do that I think most commonly most people use 24 frames a second so you're shooting 24 images for every second I shoot 30 images for every second because I just want it to look really buttery smooth especially if you see on that night time lapse see how very smooth that is that's 30 frames a second I don't have to like I said I could shoot in 24 but I prefer to shoot in 30. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, please subscribe and click the bell.